Margaret Garrett's painting practice is largely influenced by her background as a dancer. Born in North Carolina and raised in Pennsylvania, she began studying dance as a child and was a member of professional dance companies through her teenage and early adult years. Her work has been exhibited in solo and group shows in galleries and museums across the United States and is held in numerous private and corporate collections in the US and Europe. Museum collections include us, the parish, and Guildhall, and she currently lives and works in Shelter Island. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for coming, and thank you to the parish for this opportunity to present more of our work. As Corinne said in the intro, my background was as a dancer. I trained very intensely as a child and uh, joined a ballet company when I was 16. And then in my 20s, I started to make paintings. And that's been my primary focus for the past 20-some years. And then a couple of years ago, I actually started dancing again, filming myself and making videos. So now my practice includes painting, uh, collage, videos, and um, printmaking. And I'm going to show you some examples from each of these mediums and a little bit about them and how I got there. I'm going to start with some paintings. This is actually in the collection of the Parish Art Museum, so I thought to include it. It's called Journal Winter. I have this ongoing series called Journal Paintings, which, though abstract, are influenced by my surroundings, my environment, the colors I'm seeing. This is another one in the series from last summer. It's called Water Drawings, and my studio is right on the beach, and so I have a lot of uh, I see the water and the movement on the water and the seagrass and those things work their way into my work a lot. This is the painting that's in this ex exhibition, Rhythm at Dusk. I often work in series, but I also sometimes, when I finish one painting, it will suggest an idea for the next painting. And in that last, this came right after the one before, and that one there were sort of these areas under the blue of pinks, and they kind of got covered up, and I sort of wanted to start with that, with a new piece. So with this painting, I kind of started with these large areas of pink and then worked on it from there. My work tends to be layers of drawings and motion and movement until it starts to feel almost musically to me that it works. Harmonics is another painting with, you know, uh, different areas of color and gesture and motion. A lot of my painting is influenced by my background as a dancer. I'm definitely, I see line as movement. I'm interested in the, the musicality of a piece. I almost see them choreographically. And this is Allegro from this past summer. So a lot of my work is uh, gesture driven and I have also collages and paintings that are really shape, just shapes interacting. And in this piece I wanted to work on um, kind of combining those two, so working with these moving shapes and how they interacted with the, the line. This is a work on paper. I work on paper a lot. I like the spontaneity I can get in it, just a little more fluid and good for working on ideas. Often they're, they're, this is just its own piece, but sometimes <clears throat> I'll do that as a, as a study and then it'll get, I'll work on ideas for canvases. And this is a little painting, again, from this past summer, another example of the movement of line and the sort of the, the different rhythms of the different colors, the slower, slower blues against the like um, faster moving whites. This is a, a series I'm working on now. It's they're, they're paper mounted on canvas and they're basically drawings in different colors. I got the idea for this from a, a video that I, I did, and I'm going to show you an excerpt. It's silent, so I'm going to speak while I show it to you. And it's called Drawing in Red. So a lot of my videos are, they're really about moving and drawing with my body instead of with the paint. And uh, I had this idea to do some in different colors. And so this was red. <laughs> um, I shoot them myself. I shoot myself, uh, you know, and then a, a lot of the work happens in the editing is when I kind of decide the look of it, if I'm breaking up the body and how I'm making the patterns. Uh, 
And this is another video from last year. This is called Freeze. The inspiration for this was uh, one of those, you know, when you're in Italy and you see those long rows of characters that are gods and things like that. So if you looked at those and, and it suddenly came to life, that was my <laughs> idea. Um, when I first started doing the videos, the, my original plan was I was looking for shapes to use in collages and paintings. And so I thought, oh, let me... I felt like dancing again, let me do this, and I would film and then I would take stills and I would find shapes and cut them out and play with them in my um, two-dimensional work. But then in the course of it, I got really fascinated and found this other medium and now I spend a lot of my time doing it. But you can see, so with this uh, uh, video, it is collage as well, so the top and the bottom, those are collaged from stills and you can really see the shapes in those. And this is a print that was made uh, from stills from the video. I had the good fortune to be an artist in residence in the Sag Harbor School last year. They have a program there that um, Peter Salo and Scott Sandell run where artists come in and they mentor students on their projects and then Scott and Peter work with the artists on making prints. And this was the first one we did together. This is a painting. Um, 23rd Street, another example of shapes in motion. I have some paintings that are very line-driven and some that are more shape-driven. Sometimes people say that's very different. I think if you just blew up the lines, they would look like this, so it's really about scale. Uh, with this one, I started first with a collage and then blew it up from there. Um, so I've been doing for a few years an ongoing series of dancing flowers that are collages. This is floozy. I recently was commissioned to do some for a new hospital going up in the city uh, for women and newborns. They commissioned eight dancing flowers that are gonna be in the treatment room. So when women go in and have their sonograms, they will see a dancing flower, which makes me very happy. <laughs> so an Instagram story, I posted on Instagram some of the collages I'd finished for the hospital and somebody got in touch with me and said they would like a set for their house in Westchester. So I made this group of 10 for them and then they installed it and were kind enough to send me this nice installation shot. It was exciting to me because it's the first time I've seen them as a group one piece, which is I think an interesting other way to go. So next I'm gonna show you an excerpt from the video that's actually in this exhibition. It's called In My World Two. The music is Jacob Collier's cover of In My Room. I've made actually three different versions of that video. My original idea and something I would still like to have happen one day is to have it as an installation where you actually go in a room and you see the videos on the walls around you kind of full size. Um, but it's all, they also can each be seen individually as they are here. So I'll just play a little excerpt. This is a print that I actually also made with Division Street Editions, they call it. Um, again, from stills from the video. With this video, not only did I play with cutting up the body and arranged in that way, I also played with the color and the positive and negative. And I really, I like the negative body in this. It's sort of almost like calligraphy. So I think it's kind of interesting. I'm still, I'm hoping to do some more pieces with this imagery. And this is a current project. These are collages. Again, through Instagram, somebody shared one of my videos with the head of the Martha Graham Dance Company, and then we met, and she was telling me this is the 100th anniversary of the 19th Amendment, women's right to vote. And uh, in honor of that, the Martha Graham Dance Company has put out 19 power poses from Martha Graham dances, and they're promoting them and teaching them to people and things like that. 
And I got kind of interested and said, you know, can I play with this? And she said, yeah, so she sent them to me. So I've learned them and I'm, I've filmed them and I'm working on a video that incorporates all of them. And then I'm making collages of each shape. And then next week I'm going down to Austin to actually work on some woodblock prints with a press down there, flatbed press, and we're gonna make some triptychs and diptychs. And all of this will be shown this April in uh, New York City at the Plant House Gallery. And this is a still from the video, which is not done yet, but the, what, the last, the collages, these are shapes one through three, and these are those shapes actually in dance. I think the last thing I have here, I'm gonna show a film. I'm gonna show you the whole thing. It's only a couple minutes long. So as I said before, I had this idea to uh, film myself in different colors. I've done <coughs> filming in blue and in red. And I, last summer, I had the idea to kind of mix them up in, into some kind of a moving flag. And so I did that, and it was the silent piece I was calling flag. But then I thought it would be really nice with some music. And some of you might know I'm married to a really good composer, so <laughs> I asked him if he had any music for me, and he did. He, he had a wonderful piece that he suggested and cut so I could and put it with the film. And it's interesting how much it changed it. It actually a different, it, it kind of creates now a, uh, for me, a little bit of the, of some of the, how I feel about what's going on in the country now. So it is now called Elegy, and this will be its world premiere. <laughs> Thank you.